Today, I am an eye maker base in Shenzhen, China. Eye maker base specializes in helping entrepreneurs and startups realize their dreams. Eye maker base is an incubator that specializes in helping small startups and innovative projects to come to life. So today I'm here and I'm meeting Zoe, who's going to show me around and tell me a little bit more about what's happening here. So hello, Zoe. Hello. Hi, Jingo. Welcome to iMakerBase. Ah, nice to meet you. So can you tell me a little bit more about iMakerBase? So how long have you guys been in Shenzhen? We are a hardware incubator and we established from 2030 years. We have already more than 60 years history. Okay, fantastic. And when did you guys reopen? Because obviously everybody was closed during the, the COVID-19. Uh, you mean this, this Re year. Recently, yeah, this year. 10th February. The 10th of February. Yeah, wow. Really early. What did you notice that was different before that, and then when when you opened up again, like what yeah. was the big what was the big difference? Yeah, uh, actually, we have prepared many many like masks and mm. different tools to uh, to make sure everyone can keep health. Mm. And because we have made, uh, we are support many foreigners mm. and uh, Chinese startups to do their projects. So we don't want to stop the process. Right. This room is our design center. So you can see we have our own designers uh, okay. for some like industrial design and graphic design. We have uh, incubated many different uh, hardware related products. All of these products uh, you guys have been involved in. Yeah, right. Uh, first of all, products we support them for development. Uh, like we can support them on PCB design and uh, industrial design. And finally, we support them to make a prototype. Prototyping hmm. after that, we also have, uh, we have our own factory and uh, supply chain managing teams. So we can support them to, to hmm. like uh, make a model and the chill production and production. And you've got these very rugged rug, uh, rugged style tablets. So this one is for some factory uh, cell phone. Oh wow, okay, interesting. So any kind of product you guys have been you've been involved in by the looks of it here. So you've got even an underwater case for your DSLRs. Yeah. Here. That's, yeah. Wow. Look at that. It's pretty snazzy. So what's your personal favorite product that you've got here? So this one, our design has all uh, like uh, red dots. The water, so you can see this. Red Dot Award for that yeah. design award. So you can use your cell phone to connect with this mini projector by Wi Fi and Bluetooth. Oh, wow. Even you lie down on a bed, you can, yeah. you can see a movie. You like can see a movie like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one we have the uh, top crowdfunding. We have raised. So it's been crowdfunded as well? Yeah. Is that in China or also in overseas? Taobao. In Taobao. Okay, Taobao. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, for three million uh, RMB. RMB. Oh wow, fantastic! So for all of you guys who don't know who, what Taobao is, Taobao is an online e-commerce platform that's based in China. Um, it's the the Western equivalent would be eBay, but even still, it doesn't. It's not really the same kind of thing because in eBay you have to bid for products to buy the best price. But uh, on Taobao, the price is non-negotiable. It is what it is, and they you know they do also offer different things like crowdfunding as well, which is pretty interesting. So we do all of these products, all of the design and some. Uh a part of the development we also support on this kind this is a robot right right so a lot of r d stuff yeah, uh, that's, right. that's pretty that's pretty cool <laughs> oh we have plenty yeah you, you can't be in shenzhen without without a uh, electronic ele electronic scooters so i've never seen so many scooters in one workplace before all oh, right and this one is very interesting like a cup very easy Oh, that's pretty cool. And how fast can that go? 40 kilometers per hour. Yes. Okay, so all this electronic stuff. I mean, I love electronics, but out of everything in this room, this is my favorite thing here. <laughs> For those of you who don't who know me well, a pair of rollerblades will always excite me, no matter what. 
Um, for, and for those of you who don't know me that well, I have been ro a rollerblader. I've rollerbladed for many, many years, maybe too long, well, a good 20 years now. And um, now back to the main topic. So we've got a 3D printer. 3D printer, yeah. Right, so we've got one 3D printer. We've got two, two. We have a big factory 3D print factory yeah. outside. Outside, okay. So it's not just this one design suite. It's also different departments, different facilities per, per building, per premises. So now uh, in our state, we have some uh, Chinese and the foreigner startups, they are mm. working here. Like this one is from UK, they develop the payment ring. Oh, wow, that's wow. Payment ring, yeah. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. That's, um, that's a, a payment ring. Um, yeah. That sounds pretty pretty uh, futuristic yeah, and so sci-fi. Like, uh, can offer a co-working space. Cool. Let's, let's go to the downstairs. We have a, a maker factory. So in this factory, we support some uh, after we develop the peer, so we can do the chair production and prototyping directory. This area, we can uh, our staff can do some like yeah, modding yeah, yeah. here. You can, if you need to do the mass production, you must need a modding. Oh, wow, look at that! That's pretty cool. <laughs> That, that, that looks like something out of a scary movie. After make a modding, we can injection directly. Injection like, modding up yeah, there, right, yeah. right, right. Process-wise, how long does it take? Normally, some for some common product, it can finish uh, within three months from development. Some product, some projects maybe it takes half a, uh, half a year, six months. Half a year, six yeah. months. This one is a test for watch. Okay, a watch case. Yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. A lot of companies are having issues shipping stuff abroad. So, for example, I shipped some masks to my family and it took uh, yeah. way long. It took a lot longer. And I noticed you guys have got some, you've got some orders for like different products. Actually, because South Korea and uh, some projects for Japan, we can ship smoothly yeah yes. okay so uh, so shipping to South Korea and Japan is not too much of an issue but yeah, if you're yeah, shipping to yeah. the US or Europe it's a lot more difficult uh, right the coronavirus is spread all the world mm. we are also worried about our partners abroad yeah, so yeah. we have collectors uh, some masks for uh, our friends and the government we have shipped to Japan to mm. Korea we can ship to Italy Oh really? Yeah, oh. Because, uh, they ask her for some many many documents. There's a lot it's of documents. Very, very, yeah, very, yeah, yeah, very, yeah. Very difficult. Yeah, as as I'm sure you know, and for for uh, for everybody else back home, wherever you are, the regulations about shipping masks are ridiculous now because there have been so many bad stories about governments taking shortcuts to try and save as much money as possible by buying cheap defective masks that don't guarantee the quality. China's been experiencing a lot of bad publicity lately because governments are buying the wrong kinds of masks so it's important to be able to buy the right kind of masks we have startups the business is like they sell some electronics uh, products to uh, to europe mm. but now they order all yeah 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 because now most of the people that i'm talking to are either supplying or or sourcing PPE. Yeah. That's basically like it's just taking the whole industry by storm. Factories are now shifting from making normal products to supplying resources for PPE as well. Yeah, right. Now it's quite a difficult time, but we think the situation is getting better now mm -hmm. because, uh, like, uh, we are also still continue to hold some like this kind of international communication, but not uh, by offline, but uh, no. through online way. Yeah, 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 because now everybody's working online. Okay, well, thank you so much for today, Zoe. Really appreciate yeah. it. If you want to get in touch with iMakerBase, uh, please leave a comment down below or send me an email, and I will put you in touch with iMakerBase. iMakerBase is just one of a handful of different incubators and makerspaces situated around Shenzhen. Post COVID-19, things are back to normal. More and more companies are coming back to Shenzhen to kickstart their ongoing projects. The future's bright here and it's going to be even brighter once everything's fully back to normal for the rest of the world. I'm pretty excited to see what kind of other projects and other incubators have in store for us. Until then, take it easy guys. See you soon.